Uh, some other uh, issues in philosophy of science these days, uh, a lot of it has to do with the extent to which politics both within and outside science influence the scientific outcomes. And um, whether or not, for example, thing, some theories are simply expressions of uh, social political views. This is a view that Steve Fuller has pushed quite a lot uh, in a fairly nuanced fashion. Um, I personally think that it's a little bit, a little faintly absurd to say that because Darwin uh, got some um, inspiration from Malthus and the uh, Malthusian economists, that therefore Darwinism is all about capitalism. It's not, not in any uh, sense that I can uh, see. Uh, and had Darwin found the capitalist or the market um, analogy to fail, he would have abandoned it straight away because he knew his science and he was looking for a way to express it uh, rather than, I think, being influenced deeply by capitalist values and, and, um, and theories. But that's a very hot button issue, again, in, in philosophy of science, and uh, it's highly debated. Not just Darwinism, but whether or not any science is influenced deeply and um, irredeem irredeemably, as it were, by uh, political um, considerations. Think, for example, of the development of nuclear weapons in the Cold War. Right. Uh, so, you know, there's all these sorts of questions that are, are come up. Philosophy of Science is a broad field, and um, there's a very good little book written by uh, Peter Godfrey Smith, who's an Australian working at uh, um, City University of New York, I think. And uh, Peter has written a great introduction to Philosophy of Science, which almost anyone can pick up and read. It's not a big book, but it's a great introduction to the, the field.